Chili peppers are great to eat and also an important crop in Arizona. Production occurs primarily in southeastern Arizona, where favorable growing conditions exist. However, there is a disease of peppers called Phytophthora blight that can occur and cause significant plant death and yield loss. The pathogen that causes this disease, Phytophthora capsaicin, resides in the soil and becomes active when soil is overly wet. The spread of the pathogen and disease development are related to the duration and intensity of summer rainfall events. Initial infection of plants occurs on roots and stems of plants at the soil surface. Successive rainfall events and sustained high levels of humidity lead to infections on the upper parts of plants including leaves, stems, and pepper fruit. This pathogen is closely related to Phytophthora infestans, the organism responsible for the devastating Irish potato famine that occurred around 1850. At the U of A Human Agricultural Center, Dr. Mike Mathern, extension plant pathologist and Martin Borges technician, are evaluating several fungicides for the control of this pathogen in the field and in a greenhouse. This greenhouse experiment has 25 treatments, 10 replications, about 250 plants total. The variety they're using in this case is Anaheim peppers. The way this trial is conducted is the plants are potted in these foam cups, then uh, they get infected with the fungus, which is grown and ate in the laboratory. Once the fungus is established, the fungicide treatment is applied, and then a number of evaluations are, are performed to determine the efficacy of the product. When it gets too cold, it, uh, it, uh, the, the fungus uh, goes dormant, so it won't be active. So we want to keep it kind of warm and, 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 and keep the Phytophthora active so it'll be, still be working on those, on those peppers. But as you can see, this is infected with Phytophthora, untreated with the, with the fungicide. And you can see the effects as it, the Phytophthora forms a, uh, like a canker on the stem, the leaves drop, and uh, within days or weeks, uh, the plant will be dead. Um, this treatment here, it is infected, and also, uh, but it's treated with the, with the fungicide. And you can see the difference as this, this whole uh, treatment, uh, uh, comparing to the, un the untreated, uh, there is a difference. data obtained from these experiments is then analyzed statistically and then recommendations are made available in workshops, publications, or newsletters for the use of the agricultural community. If you would like more information concerning Phytophthora blight and its management, please contact Dr. Mike Madner at the University of Arizona Yuma Agricultural Center.